Hey guys, Wogan here, and uh, Minecraft Beta 1.8 is out, which is uh, pretty exciting. Um, it's supposed to be a pretty big update, which it uh, looks like it is. I'm looking at the abbreviated change log, which is on the uh, Minecraft launcher newsfeed. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't been able to update my server because Minecraft.net is down. My upgrade, update script goes to Minecraft.net, pulls down the update, starts it, but I can't get the update. So I'm going to play around in single player here for a little bit, just check out a few of the new things. Um, so. Let's create a new world here. Um, new interface here, it looks like. I never really played uh, too much on single player, but you have uh, survival mode, creative mode, which pretty uh, self explanatory there. Creative mode is a bit of a throwback towards uh, Minecraft Classic, where you could just you know pretty much do whatever you want, do whatever you want without you know worrying about living. So I'm gonna do survival mode. Um, I don't have a seed generation. I want structures. Structures are new, which is cool. Um, strongholds, I, I assume this is supposed to be strongholds here, unless dungeons themselves have been removed without this on. Uh, villages, new, uh, so there's buildings that are created, so that's kind of cool. Um, so let's start this world up, have a look. A um, few new mobs that have been added. I don't know if I'll be able to spot any here at my spawn point. Hopefully I'll have a reasonable spawn point. Um, Oh, there we go. We're in. Um, a few trees. Oh boy. Oh dear. It's quite the cliff there. Anyways, um, we're in. You can now sprint, which is uh, which is cool. Um, it appears to function relatively well. Uh, the double tap. I'm not sure if that's the appropriate way to do this. I maybe I don't know. Holding a key plus up might be a better option. I don't know. Um, but double tapping seems kind of forced. But it, it it seems to work pretty well. You can sprint, um, jump a little farther, and whatnot. Um, oh, uh, obvious changes at the bottom. You'll see the um, experience bar there, along with the uh, hunger bar. Um, hunger plays an important role because if you uh, if you lose health and you eat food, your health does not regenerate instantly. It goes up based on the amount of uh, uh, how high your hung or your hunger bar is or your food bar is, uh, I believe. I haven't really played around with it yet, but uh, hopefully I will here in the near future. Um, apparently pigs received an update as well, which... Uh, let's see if we can find a pig. The, the uh, spawn of a million cows, but no pigs. That's great. <laughs> trees look a little... at least, I don't recall... Trees still really spawning this short, but... You know, whatever. Find a tree. Create some oxygen in my Minecraft world. It's good to have, right? Um, no pigs, though. I think it's due to my... Oh, oh, look at that. Watch pigs. Nice. So apparently pigs have snouts now. Let's, let's have a look-see. Mr. Pig. Oh, yep, definitely a snout there. Um, apparently they will also run away when you attack them, which... I guess it works. I, I assume it would work much better if I was fighting this pig on land and not in the ocean. Well, these pigs are going for going for somewhere. Jesus. Why? Better just put this guy out of his misery because he's gonna drown. Wow, you guys, you guys are real smart. Yeah, frolic in that water. Be eaten by a shark. A squid will come up and get him. No, <laughs> be kind of sweet. But um, anyways, so yeah, um, neutral creeps will run when you uh, attack them, which, again, I'm not really in the best place to show this, but yeah, the, he's, he's running away there, so that, that's cool. Um, a little frustrating when you're trying to kill something with your fist, because it's just going to sprint away from you, you're going to have to chase it down, but, you know, it adds a little little dynamic to the game that didn't have before, which is which is cool. Um, oh, experience bar. Uh, you see the little green there, uh, right below my health bar. Uh, that's how much experience I got for killing that pig. I'm assuming you get more pigs for killing uh, creeps versus uh, neutral monsters, but, uh, but yeah, that's there. So if I kill this cow, which yeah, see, runs much better um, when there's actually room to run, just corner him. Oh, fail. Come here. Hey. Oh, this is actually much harder than I was expecting it to be. Notch. Ruined it. I can't even kill a cow with my fist now. This is ridiculous. Oh, there we go. Oh, raw beef. That's interesting. They no longer drop leather. I was unaware of that update. So that's cool. Um, there's that. Which, huh. I assume you cook that 
let's cook beef and get more health out of it. But uh, it's just cows run, um, and I got a little more experience there. I don't know if you saw, but they're supposed to drop an orb when uh, I wasn't really paying attention. When uh, you kill them, which signifies the experience you're getting for killing them. So I'm gonna make a sword here real quick to make this killing go a little better. Let's take all day to kill a pig. All right, let's see here. I haven't done this in a while. Wood sword, really, uh, back a ways. So let's plop my cra oh, plop my crafting table down here. Ah, shift key. I really wish it would shift up like it does into a s in a stash, but you know, um, not the biggest deal. But that, in my eyes, that would be a uh, better functionality for the shift key. I might as well just make a uh, basic tools here. I'm going. So terrible placement for those. Um, that's that. So let's kill a kill a creep here. Let's kill a pig. A right, pig. Oh, you don't. I believe you used to swing continuously when you held the uh, mouse button. Now you have to actually click. I thought it would swing, 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 but now you do have to actually click it to swing the, the sword, or I assume pickaxe the same way. Yeah. Huh. That's actually, I think that's a little frustrating. Um, and a cow tipper. Oh, to get leather or raw beef. Interesting. Um, pig died. Oh, there. See it? There was the experience orb. Um, about to hit level one, so I'm actually going to level up here real quick, because well, I haven't done that yet. I guess we'll see what that gets me. Uh, probably nothing, but uh, be cool regardless. There's a useless leveling system in this game. I, I don't actually know if it's useless. So I haven't really... I haven't actually played it all except for just now, so... Come here, pig. Help me get my level. Oh, food stacks! Yes! This needed to happen forever ago. As you can see, food is stacking. Oh, I leveled up there, and it was very uneventful. Um, that's a shame. But, uh, yes, food stacking. Big, big, big feature. I don't know why that wasn't done decades ago. I feel like that's that's just so much space saved. I mean, you used to be carrying pork all the way down this line. Oh, it take up so much room. Uh, anyways, excited about that. There's a few new menu options, too, which I haven't gone over yet. I'll uh, break those down here really quick. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some better videos when my server's back online. Maybe find a dungeon and whatnot, and then, uh, or a stronghold, because that's the uh, big new structure. Um, but, uh, yeah, a few new menu options. So, if we go options, uh, t t field of view, um, you can change your field of view actually quite significantly. Oh, uh, that's, <laughs> that's kind of trippy. It does bring back memories, though, of old school video games and the odd field of views they used to have. At least I think it's odd. Maybe it's just my perception because so many no games do this anymore. But so it goes extra crazy when you're sprinting. Um, but yeah, if you if you didn't notice when you sprint, your field of view changes uh, a bit, um, signify sprinting. So um, it's kind of cool, uh, interesting change. There's apparently also a brightness setting uh, right here. So all the way up to bright because well I find myself changing my monitor brightness, which this will. At least allow me to change that a little less, I hope. Oop, do that. Um, so, brightness all the way up. Let's see here, everything else looks pretty much the same in here. Uh, controls. Oh, li player list, which I'm not online, so if I do more videos, I'll have to, uh, have to show that on my server. Um, not a whole lot else in here, I believe. Nope. So, alright, it's pretty much the same. So, anyways, it's a quick uh, demo of Minecraft 1.8 beta. Um, I'll, like I said, I'll probably do some more detailed videos here in the future. Uh, my Xbox is still uh, in disarray, which, uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to buy a new one or not. Um, I did buy that uh, G74 I referenced in uh, one of my early Call of, Duty, Call of Duty videos. I picked that up probably, I don't know, three weeks ago. Machine runs amazing. I put a solid state drive in for one of the 750 gig hard drives, and it is just is is a machine. Um, about two thousand dollars total. A little costly for performance, but the portability is just it's amazing. Um, I don't really do mobile gaming, um, for example, gaming on the road, but I do go between different places. I'm well, I'm currently a college student, so 
uh, between my apartment at my university and uh, my actual uh, true residence, it, it's nice to be able to take my laptop between two places and that. You know, friend's house once in a while, I'll do that. Um, but the thing is, it's amazing. Um, I might do a little bit of a, a review of that later on, do some, maybe some, um, I don't know, shots of it. It, it. It's great, keyboard's awesome, but anyways, so I'll save that for a later date.